Okie dokie. Get all of our archers and such. Get them all nice and grouped up. Let's see what we got here. Ballista towers. Ooh, that's... That doesn't look fun. I don't like ballista towers, I'll say that much. <laughs> These guys, yeah, okay, good. I thought I was in range of them for a second. That would not have been fun. Okay, so I'm going to spend some time battering down these gates with my catapults, and then I'm probably going to want to also take out as many towers as I can, because one lucky ballista shot is all it takes to kill my, my general. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. I am going to be very careful of artillery around my generals now. I still can't believe I lost my sultan. That was so dumb of me. Uh, we can make this. We can do this now. Get my spearmen inside of here too. Might as well start smashing this down either way. But no, we can kill these guys. They are far away from the front gate. They'll give us enough time to run our dudes inside. They're not going to man these towers. Might accidentally hit my own men. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Oh, hit that building though. Hopefully, we can get a charge on these guys, but you know, it's kind of screwy when you're inside. Yep, you're gonna get a charge bonus. Oh, there they go. Popping like popcorn. I guess. <laughs> so yeah, we should be able to chop these guys up pretty good, and then we'll get our spears inside the city, and they'll take out their general very nicely. So their crossbows didn't manage to shoot me at all, their catapults didn't manage to shoot me at all, that's a good day. I didn't even have to use my AK. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's an Ice Cube song. Way, way old. Early 90s. I don't know if you guessed by now, but my taste in music isn't exactly current. <laughs> I'm not going to be hitting you with the most pop culture references out there. Okay, you know what? Uh, we don't need to sit here and keep duking things out with our general. He's going to get a lot more kills if he can charge dudes, so what we're going to do is see if we can run around elsewhere and flank the enemy with our general. I actually wish I had uh, some cavalry in this army other than just my general. Because although he is really experienced and he does have really good stats, there's only 15 of him. Can't do... Can't get everything done, you know. So once I break off these uh, crossbowmen, I'll have a clear route into. Uh, the city, town square rather, and that will enable me to uh, tie up their general and then start running charges on the rest of these crossbowmen. 
That's the plan. We'll see how it works out. These crossbowmen are fighting tough, but they're not melee troops. They're not gonna. They're not gonna make it. They're not gonna survive. Their goose is cooked. I'm mostly just worried about these guys. I don't want to get too close to the town square because I'm not ready for, for this fight yet. I wonder why the frame rate's dropping. That's that's not fair. <laughs> no, J Milan, are you gonna fight with with the powers of lag now? Oh, we broke off their uh, their what you call them's their crossbowmen. Their what you call them's. Okay, that 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 glitching audio sound that that's that's a sign that I'm gonna pause the game and then. Uh, transition back to when this lag's cleared up. Wow, that's all it took. Okay. Well, there's some advice for you guys if you're dealing with lag. Just pause it for half a second, I guess. <laughs> and every problem you have will be fixed. These crossbowmen are just a pain in my sides. But then again, that kind of sums up Milan in a nutshell. And soon, my spears will be a pain in their sides. What do you know? Okay, I gotta, I gotta pause this. Okay, I think we're good now. At least for another 10 seconds. <laughs> once again, I'm still running this on my laptop, so it's it's not going to be great. But once I get a new Let's Play started, I'll be able to uh, start nice and fresh on my new computer. Which should be able to handle this. Recording and playing at the same time, you know. Let's go ahead and run a charge in on these guys. Our spearmen are in the vicinity. They should be able to support. Alright. Give it your best shot. Yeah, there we go. Way to go. He's the one-man wrecking crew. Except there's more than one of him. Whatever. Oh shit, General's coming after me! And we'll get another charge. Awesome. Poke him with your sword! Good, good, good. And this should uh, pull the General closer into our spears. Because their crossbowmen are sort of bottlenecking this area. Everybody just run at the general. I'll take care of the crossbowmen. I can probably take all these catapult dudes out with one good charge. Oh yeah, here it comes! Yep, all of them. Dead. I don't think we're close enough. 
back up again, and then we'll just keep on charging into the back of their general. Yeah, that killed a few of them. Oh yeah, nice. We killed their doge on that charge. No, 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 no. Stop chasing me. There's still more of you than there are of me. Such a little coward. Alright, so things are definitely going our way. Spearmen are surrounding their general. General is surrounding their crossbowmen. Those combinations tend to work out pretty well. No, no, we got it again. It's okay. And finally, after this fight, we will never see Genui's crossbowmen again. <laughs> Hopefully, if this is their last... If they have, like, another settlement on some, like, podunk island in the middle of the nowhere, it's, it's going to make me pretty sad. I might start crying, guys. You don't, you don't even know. Come on, you stupid horses. Nice, got him. Alright, looks like this fight is all but over. Come on, Spearman. Well, that should be the last one. Yes. Hip hip hooray! Alright, so that's a clear victory. All of the Milani's people are dead. I think we started off pretty nice. We defended from Venice and attacked Milan, both successfully. Alright, fantastic. And we can recruit ur urban militia from here. That's fantastic. Look at these guys. 11 attack, 19 defense. These guys are, these guys are sweet. And this stupid army is now going to be a stupid rebel army. Yes. So, not a bad day so far. Let's uh let's go ahead and end the turn. And just making sure we're recruiting dudes in Toledo, which we are. Hopefully we can get a Swordsmith Guild upgrade. And I read on the internet that uh, gunpowder is discovered usually between turns 105 and 110. So, hopefully we got some Camel Gunners to look forward to in the future. Because I'm not going to lie, that's my favorite unit for the Moors. For a number of reasons.
I'm really happy that these Catholic factions are tearing themselves apart. Right, Denmark's on my side, Sicily's attacking the Pope. Things are going pretty good. <laughs> Let's give, let's give this guy some death. Why not? Still give him some death. Yeah. Can we kill this guy? Probably not. Can we kill this guy? Mm, meh. Can we kill this guy? Yes. And I think we will talk to Sicily about maybe becoming bedfellows. Because that would be good. Then we would have a definite border on this side of Africa. And we would only have to worry about expanding into Europe. Ah, uh, yes, we gotta get this army into these boats. And we'll send them down to Valencia. Yeah, nothing's gonna touch this navy for a long time. Take a look what we got going on here. We've got some good stuff going on here. That's what we got. <laughs> uh, maybe get another unit of desert archers and then we'll have a full army. Not a great army, but a good army for defending this castle, which is what Venice looks like they plan on doing for a long time. Let's end the turn. Things are going so much more smoothly now that I'm auto-managing all my settlements. Can you imagine just how much time I would spend going through each and every settlement, giving them new build orders? Come on. Of course we're the most advanced faction. Okay, we can upgrade this little place. Why not? Hmm. Oh yeah, there's this one thing that uh, I wanted to give a shot at. Let's go ahead. Right, we have a merchant in here anyways. So, everyone knows that merchants are awesome down in this settlement down in Timbuktu and a subscriber told me an interesting way to make your merchants even more merchantier if you build a fort right on the same area as your resource you can put your merchants inside and both of them are trading gold on the same tile so I could fill this place up with uh, with merchants and have like hypothetically I think 20 merchants all trading the same one resource 
resource of gold. So that would net me huge, huge profits. But I mean, I'm already making like 50 grand a turn. So it, it's not even like I don't need to do it. I would actually feel bad about doing it if my economy depended on it. I'm just showing you that if you want to exploit the game a little bit, that's something you can do. But man, that's that's really fun. Interesting. See, here's the thing. I'm not I wouldn't have been creative enough to have thought of doing that on my own. That's pretty snazzy though. Looks like there are some good units in this army. I don't know if I want to fight them on open ground just yet. Actually, I probably... It's either me fighting them on open ground or... Uh, me fighting them inside of a city, so... Heck, might as well. Uh, they don't have any long-range missiles. They got ballistas, but I could take care of those pretty nicely. Looks like I'll be able to take care of these guys pretty sufficiently. My crossbowmen should make sure that really no troops even make it to me. So, eh, best of luck. Fingers crossed here.